shots up. He's hit the post. Fantastic try. And they've leveled it with time ticking away. Real resistance by a side that refused to be beaten. Well, who knows? They might just go on and win it now. It's been that kind of night. Drama all the way. And have we got a little bit more in store? Yeah. Well, at the moment, it's level again after that goal. But who knows what's going to happen now? So dangerous. And it goes for goal. Still danger. They talk about death. We trying to live life while the signal says left. But they're really going right. But who cares? They got nothing to improve upon. Meanwhile, we pass them fast lane Rupert. So let the shit storm rang. And they try to damp us up. But we just leave them hanging. It could be, I hesitate to confirm it here because it's been a match of so many ebbs and flows, but it could be and it looks like the winner. Hello everyone, this is CG Novo 92 and today I am back with a brand new video. I do apologise lads, I've actually been very ill as you can probably hear by my voice. It's prob probably still a little snotty, but I do apologise. I know you guys have been waiting on a video for over a week now, so I'm going to soldier on and we are back with a first episode of When Nations Collide. Now the only one that isn't a part of the two nations that's mentioned in the thumbnail is the goalkeeper, but I had to throw him in lads because the Turkish goalkeeper I was using was absolutely horses and he's just a phenomenal goalkeeper if you want to pick him up he's only about 400 coins next player is going to be the first Japanese player of the squad and that is going to be the 10k rated uh, right back I've no idea why he's 10k lads uh, why he is so expensive because isn't that rare there is a lot of them in the marketplace but he is pretty phenomenal but he is the only one that didn't score for me but he's very good at attacking he's also really surprisingly good at defending the next player is going to be Yoshida I think that is from Southampton he's an inform very rare there's only four in the marketplace PS3 wise and he's actually surprisingly solid for me I thought I was uh, gonna get a bit of a downer because his stats don't look that great none of his like in-game stats look that surprising or that exciting but he's actually a very very solid goalkeeper is he worth 120k though De uh, definitely not and the next player is going to be Kaya, everyone knows about him because uh, I talked about him with my Turkey squad, he is a phenomenal centre back, 75 pace, feels like 85, he just completely stops everything. And my left back, the goal scoring Bali, I talked about it last time when I made a Turkish squad, how he seemed to always be in the right place at the right time to score a nice goal. And here he is there, doing that CJ Novo 92 chip. He's just a phenomenal left back. I don't know why, and I'm I've no idea why I'm saying phenomenal so much. And maybe it's just because I'm ill. Maybe that's just maybe it's a side effect from the drugs. <laughs> anyway, lads, as you can see from these highlights, he just seems to just appear at the right time. That one, I was doing some nice skills, doing a nice little cut back and just a devastating shot. I think I scored like five goals in ten games with him the last time. I think I scored. Uh, I played eighteen games and scored three goals. Although it isn't as much. Uh, this was a pretty solid uh, squad, lads, and he, he didn't attack it as much, but he was definitely helped by the defensive responsibilities as well. The right mid is going to be, of course, Mayachi, and he is just devastating, lads. He's six foot, which really does uh, help if he's 94 pace or something like that. Then there he's doing the CG Novo 92. I was going to throw that in the start of the video because it was a really nice goal, but I thought, nah, let's do something different. Let's do that little interesting goal, sort of the up and down of Division 1. And here he is here. This is what he could do, just link up with my striker and just cuts inside and just finishes perfectly. He's just so good, lads. He's so, even though he has cost, was it, 19k? I got mine for in the right formation and position. He's just so underrated. I don't know why people don't use him a lot. He's six foot. He's got all that pace. He's got all that strength. He's got all that skill moves. And he's got all that shot power, as you saw from some of the highlights. The next player is going to be just in the regular uh, edition of Kagawa. Simply because his uh, inform card is left forward. And uh, there's no need for that. But as you saw this... He really stepped up for me in the squads. I don't know why he was so good in the squad, because I have him in my Manchester United squad, and I actually put him as the weak link. But it's something about the squad, he just clicked. As you see from the couple of highlights up here, he just seems to have so much aggression when he's playing with the squad. He just wins the ball, he holds off the defenders, he's winning slide tackles, he's hitting amazing shots. He's also got really good ball control. So yeah, that was a bit of a funny one, because if you can remember from my Manchester United, that says he was weak, had a poor shot. But as you've seen from the first two highlights, he's got great aggression, great strength I think there's one in the later on as well as you see there he did actually win that ball again and it finishes sweetly and there's a highlight coming up for one of my strikers where it shows you he's holding off the inform Daniel Agar and actually pushes him off the ball which is insane lads let's move on to the next player and that is going to be the inform San I think that's pronounced probably not 
on my record with these names pronouncing is just horrendous. <laughs> and all the new subscribers love telling me, God, you suck at pronouncing names. And I do apologise, lads. I'm trying my best. But he didn't score a lot of goals for me. He has only got 58 pace, but he just seemed to be a very solid uh, centre mid. He did score a couple of decent goals. But apart from that, he's a very good playmaker and he links up well with the left mid. And that's going to be the ultra rare EK. That's what I'll call him because I can never pronounce his name. And this guy, I was just going to say, is Curl. You just curl it, lads. He's got a horrendous power shot. It cost me 242k or something. It's, no, was it 232k? And I sold him for 258k on the PS3 marketplace. There's only like three in the marketplace right now on the PS3, and he's just very, very rare. You never, you, you'll probably never play him against them again. I'll probably never have him again unless I'm going to build a squad again around him because he is really good at curling it. And that was sort of his game. He stepped up here. I was getting beaten this game, and he actually sort of clicked, and anyway, ended up thumping this guy in the last few goals. Here's a nice curl here. This was a FIFA 12 curl shot. I call that one because you could curl it all the time in FIFA 12. This year it's very hard to do score some curl shots but he was sort of reliable when it came to curl shots you could just cut inside and just slice it in there with a sexual curl definitely pick him up if you have the coins lads if you want to be different and of course build a turkey side he's definitely better than the other left mid options in the squad uh, the first striker is going to be Inform Honda, the ultra rare man himself, as you would have probably tell from my last video how much I was in love with this card, I played him in the centre mid and uh, Inform Russian League side, so if you missed that, go and check that squad out and then come back here lads, I'll wait, you back, cool, anyway, <laughs> uh, he is just phenomenal, I converted to him lads, I got him for 178k which is a really steal if you think about it in a centre mid and I could have sold that centre mid for like 230 or something like that but I decided to convert him uh, to a striker and I still made him a massive profit I sold mine for 238k in a striker role because I, I waited a few days because I was one up in the marketplace for 227 and that sold pretty quickly so I waited until it sold and then I put mine up and a day later I did sell for that so you just be patient when you're buying these rare cards lads because someone will buy them as you see from these highlights, I didn't put a lot of highlights in the, his last squad builder because I said I played him as striker on the next one and I don't want to bore you guys with highlights. He's just a phenomenal goal scorer. He just seems to score goals for fun. He's always in the right place at the right time. He's got good enough aggression. He's left footed on the right side so he can just cut inside with a nice little finesse. I believe he's got, what is it, 94 uh, shot power or 91 shot power. It's something insane, lads. So he's going to have that power shot if you're a bit of a power abuser. He's also got, what is it, 94 curl, something insane like that. So if you want to just cut inside and do those lovely curls, he's got a really high attack, uh, really high, uh, what's it called, free kick rating is, was a little cheeky chip, uh, free kick rating as well, he's just got great ball control, you see from all these highlights, he's having insane goals I'm scoring lads from a centre mid, but I'm playing him as a striker role and he's definitely excelled because he has also got high attacking work rate and low attacking, uh, low defensive work rate along with my striking partner, so that sort of helped the squad, because it kept the squad in a sort of perfect balance, there's always, they two were always in the striker positions, and also with the other players as well in the squad, lads, I've not really mentioned, their attacking uh, work rates have been sort of perfect, like Sions, uh, con uh, complained, uh, Kagawa very well, they've really got this sort of connection, one of them goes forward, the other one stays back, the other one blah blah blah, as you could probably tell, and that was the for me lads, for the you see him just cuts into Dede and Santana, the ultimate centre-back partnership, and just finishes perfectly. He did play 30 games and score 29, but remember, uh, was it 10 of those? What is the centre-mid? He only scored three goals for me, so he has a, a positive goal-scoring ratio when he's playing striker. And the next man is going to be the big brick wall, and that is going to be Yilmaz. As soon as I saw this player, I was talking to King Jad on uh, Skype, if you don't follow King Jad on uh, YouTube, go check him out, he's a very funny Scottish commentator, <laughs> anyway, I was talking to him, and this was the guy that stood out to me, I mentioned him right away, and of course, San was also in that as well, but the one thing I can say about this guy is he just finishes, I watched another man's review as well, uh, I can't remember his name, and I feel really bad, I think it's Mr. Gateway on YouTube, and he, he, he sort of cemented it for me, and made sure I was going to make a squad build around him, and he's just a phenomenal goal scorer, lads, it's just what he does, he's not the sort of like beat five players with skill moves. And there's that Kagawa chance, by the way. Hold on, that's inform Aga if you're not sure. But what he is is he gets the ball and he'll just bury it either foot, doesn't matter in the air, doesn't matter. He just finishes. He's also got, I think, it's insane passing stats 
that's another thing about uh, having Honda up front with this guy. They're very, uh, they're two good passers of the ball, so they're always sort of weeping in with each other. There's a, one of them. See that? N no skill moves at all, lads. Just cutting inside. <laughs> no, no skill moves. Just using all the directional sticks and just finishes perfectly. He's got 94 finishing, and I think it's 94 shot power or 95 shot power or something like that, and also 95 strength. Or is it 94 strength? I am not sure, I really need to lay off these drugs, they are just sort of wiping me out lads. Uh, so yeah, definitely pick him up if you can. I, I actually thought I made a mistake because I bought him on the Wednesday last week when the, the sort of informs were running out. So everyone was, the price was sort of dropping, it was about 75, 78k for about 3 days and I, and I was happy to pay that as I said. But uh, it just sort of dropped down and I actually got mine for 65k and I was thinking to myself when I bought him I was like oh I'm going to make a massive loss he's going to drop to about 50k or something like that but it was worth it for you guys because I do it I enjoy making these squads for you that's why I do it I'm not a money whore that puts up 5 videos a day and say come check this video out because I need money I just make it whenever I feel I've got a squad and a video ready for you guys that's good enough and that was definitely Elmas pick him up as, as you can and also Bazzini I couldn't believe this I was struggling in this game for each I bring on Pizzini cause Yelmaz was stammering on his lawn and didn't check it and look who scores can you freaking believe it go on Paz you sexy beast oh my god I was so happy I bring him on he just completely changed and he just ran up the field and done that I couldn't believe it I was almost in I was hysterical lads that really helped me the price of the squad was around 500k give or take some rare players uh, rare, rare prices I should say the best player is going to be Honda honourable mentions is going to be Bala the left back and Kagawa two phenomenal players almost all Yilmaz are put in there as well uh, weak link none going to give this 10 out of 10 loved playing with the squad lads loved it try it you're very different people will comment in that you're playing the same your original and as always I've been TJ Novo 92 thank you for watching and bye bye